All right, breaking at this half hour just confirmed an EF1 tornado did touch down in Montgomery County. Yeah, we're talking winds of 110 miles per hour wreaking havoc in the eastern part of the county. Fox and News Shelby Myers now joining us here in studio with the story and Shelby some pretty wild video that you're going to show us. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lanise, but that doesn't mean there weren't some close calls. Snapped trees, windows blown out of cars, and roofs ripped off. The damage in East Montgomery is significant. It looked like a disaster war zone almost. Terrence Johnson is the executive director of By His Grace Daycare and Learning Center. The center security cameras captured this intense moment when the now confirmed EF1 tornado hit around 3 a.m. Wednesday morning. And we seen a big lightning flash and instantly you seen all of the vans thrown across the parking lot. Inside the building, there's even more damage. We have some leaks on um, the tornado blow part of the roof off. Um, we do have some tree limbs, whatever that hit the roof and the glass and we have some water coming inside the building. Just across the street from the center at Buddy Watson Park. Crews are already cleaning up. In all, 50 businesses or homes were damaged in Montgomery. Mayor Stephen Reed says the city is looking at ways to help those affected recover. This has been a total team effort and, and no one worried about what neighborhood or what street it was in. Everybody just answered the call. Both Mayor Reed and Johnson say while the repairs may take some time, they're thankful it wasn't worse. We're happy that no one was here during this time and that everybody is safe that will be attending here, the employees and the children. And a confirmed EF tornado also hit nearby Elmore County. The National Weather Service says there was an EF1 tornado damage in Perry County, too. In the studio tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.